What is direct path read? A direct path read is where the data is read directly from the data files into the PGA rather than into the buffer cache in the SGA. The direct path read is available only when the Oracle optimizer chooses a full table scan. What are the index related things you will check in explain plan? Index range scan. Index fast full scan. Index unique scan. Bitmap index single value. What is the cache buffer chain's weight event in Oracle database? A user process acquires the cache buffers chain's latch to scan the system global area, SGA, for database cache buffers. Blocks in the buffer cache are placed on linked lists, cache buffer chains. Blocks are put on the hash chain according to their DBA, data block address, and class of the block. Each hash chain is protected by a single child latch. The latch allows a process to scan a hash chain without having the linked list change while it scans. Hot blocks are a common cause of cache buffers chains latch contention. What are scattered read and sequential read? A DB file sequential read is an event that shows a wait for a foreground process while doing a sequential read from the database. This is most commonly used for single block reads. Single block reads are most commonly seen for index block access or table block access by a ROID. A DB file scattered read will read multiple data blocks. Multi-block reads are typically used on full table scans. The scattered read refers to the fact that multiple blocks are read into DB block buffers that are scattered throughout memory. What is the difference between hash join and nested loop join? Hash join uses a hash table based lookup mechanism while nested loop doesn't or. The hash join can use cursor work area memory, allocated in UGA, for buffering rows, while nested loops join cannot. What is cursor sharing? A cursor is a name to a specific private SQL area. The cursor contains session specific state information such as bind variable values and result sets. You can think of a cursor as a pointer on the client side and as a state on the server side. Exact means exactly use my cursor and don't do any changes. In this state, Oracle searches different execution plans for every query. Force means force to cursor sharing. In this state, the database engine replaces every literal with bind variables. One child cursor is used for every SQL. Similar means use cursor sharing but take advantage of histograms. If no histogram exists for one of the replaced literals, similar is the same as force state and an already existing cursor will be used. If a histogram exists, a new child cursor is created. What is the parent and child cursor in Oracle? Parent cursor stores the SQL text of the cursor. When two statements are identical textually, they will share the same parent cursor. The child cursor holds other required information like the identity of the objects referenced by the SQL cursor, the names, type, and length of the bind variables used. Child cursors are also called versions. What is bind peaking? One of the first drawbacks of bind variables is the explain plan. Oracle Optimizer is able to peak the value of the bind variable and generate a plan like if the query were with a fixed value and so using histograms and statistics. Bind variable peaking is used with SQL statements in the library cache to see if the value of a host variable is going to change the existing execution plan. What is adaptive cursor sharing? Oracle, Oracle G uses adaptive cursor sharing to solve bind peaking problem by allowing the server to compare the effectiveness of execution plans between executions with different bind variable values. What is cardinality? What is high and low cardinality? Cardinality is a mathematical term that refers to the number of elements in a given set. Database administrators may use cardinality to count tables and values. Low cardinality refers to a database that has a lot of repeated values like status flags, boolean values, or gender. In contrast, high cardinality refers to a database that has a large number of distinct values such as ID numbers, usernames, or email addresses. What is the cardinality feedback init parameter? Cardinality feedback was introduced in Oracle Database 11G Release 2 and was renamed Statistics Feedback in Oracle Database 12C. The purpose of this feature is to automatically improve plans for queries that are executed repeatedly, for which the optimizer does not estimate cardinalities in the plan properly. 
What is dynamic underscore sampling? Dynamic sampling, DS, was introduced to improve the optimizer's ability to generate good execution plans. Dynamic sampling allows for adjusting sampling rates based on incoming data volume per sample group. What are histograms in the database? Histograms are a feature of the cost-based optimizer, CBO, that allows the Oracle engine to determine how data is distributed within a column. They are most useful for a column that is included in the WHERE clause of SQL and the data distribution is skewed. Histograms provide improved selectivity estimates in the presence of data skew, resulting in optimal execution plans with non-uniform data distributions. What are the hints? Give some examples. Hints provide a mechanism to direct the optimizer to choose a certain query execution plan based on the specific criteria. For ex example, you might know that a certain index is more selective for certain queries. Based on this information, you might be able to choose a more efficient execution plan than the optimizer. What is a reverse key index? Reverse key indexes literally reverse the bytes of the key value in the index to reduce block contention on sequence generated primary keys. Reverse key indexes are also used to reduce contention when using OPS, RAC and GRID. Reverse key indexes reduce hotspots in indexes, especially primary key indexes, by reversing the bytes of the leaf blocks and thus eliminating the contention for leaf blocks across instances. What is ANC, HW contention? The ANC, HW contention occurs when competing processing is inserting into the same table and are trying to increase the high watermark of a table simultaneously. HW and KIAs are acquired in exclusive mode before updating HWM, high watermark, and essentially HW and KIAs operate as a serializing mechanism for HWM updates. What is ORA0? ORA00, unable to allocate string bytes of shared memory. ORA00 is an error message related to the lack of available SGA memory components. While ORA000 is related to the lack of available memory in the PGA area. Asterisk heavy fragmentation of the shared pool, this can be fixed by increasing the shared underscore pool underscore size or doing a alter system flush shared pool or bouncing the instance. Asterisk too many pinned packages, if you have pinned lots of packages with dbms underscore shared underscore pool dot keep, they have not left enough room for new work. How to reduce index contention, N, TX index contention, in Oracle. The most probable reasons are. Indexes on the tables which are being accessed heavily from the application. Indexes on table columns which are monotonically growing. In other words, most of the index insertions occur only on the right edge of an index. Large data purge has been performed, followed by high concurrent insert. Solutions. Re rebuild or shrink associated index after a huge amount of data purge. Rebuild the index as reverse key indexes or hash partition the indexes which are listed in the segments by row lock weights of the AWR reports. Increase PCT underscore free for the index. Consider increasing the cache size of the sequences. What is the difference between locks, latches, and queues and semaphores? Semaphores, inside Oracle database there are many processes or threads are running and for successful running they need to communicate with each other. The process through which they communicate with each other is known as semaphores. It is just like a signal which tells the thread that when to run and stop. There is a semaphore for every Oracle server process. Locks and latches, there are several processes inside Oracle SGA, System Global Area, that need to be accessed concurrently by many different database processes. And it is very important that only one process is able to modify a particular data structure at a time. Oracle does this with the help of locks and latches. Latches, latches are the more restrictive mechanism, because they do not allow multiple processes to inspect the protected data structure at the same time. Latches do not support queuing. Oracle uses latch for the data is accessed in detail. Locks, locks allow for better concurrency, because they may be held in a shared mode when the data structure is simply being inspected. Queuing is supported by latch. Locks are used by Oracle for performance tuning. In queues, many of the locks in Oracle are known as in queues locks. To enqueue a lock request is to place that request on the queue for its resource. What are the uses of a database resource manager? 
The database resource manager enables us to limit the length of time a user session can stay idle and to automatically terminate long-running SQL statements and user sessions. We can set initial login priorities for various consumer groups by using the database resource manager. We can specify the maximum number of concurrent active sessions for a consumer group by using the concept of active session pool. The database resource manager will automatically queue all the subsequent requests until the currently running sessions complete. What is a resource plan? The resource plan lays how resource consumer groups will allocate the resources. Each resource plan contains a set of resource consumer groups that belong to this plan. Together with instructions as to how resources are to be allocated among these groups. For instance, a resource plan may dictate CPU resources be allocated among three resource consumer groups so that the first group gets 60% and the remaining two groups get 20% each of the total CPU time. How can you improve the performance of SQL asterisk loader? You can use direct path load to improve the performance. Indexes and constraints make inserts slow. Removing indexes and constraints improve performance of inserts, and therefore, of SQL asterisk loader. What are job queue processes? Job queue processes are used for processing batch. They run user jobs. They can be viewed as a scheduler service that can be used to schedule jobs like PL slash SQL statements or procedures on an Oracle instance.